talking about the Clintons in Arkansas. Yeah. In the the governor's mansion. Yeah. What what show was that? What show was it? Uh, Did you see it, Jamie? I read it. I didn't see it on a show. Oh, you read it? Was it. Like it was getting passed around the internet yesterday. Hmm. I'll, I'll pull it up. Right it's got to be Russian disinformation. It could be. Who knows? Uh, but, but apparently, but, it was but about when when Bill Maher, when they go like troubling from Bill, Maher, I mean, I get it. Even the Republican senator that he was there with was like, uh, "What? Like, yeah. I'm a little uncomfortable with this." But sure, be uncomfortable. And if a guy, I'm watching a guy who uses words that make me uncomfortable all the time, I'll stop watching, I guess. You know? Twitter erupts over news that Hillary Clinton used black prison labor while first lady of Arkansas. Newsweek.com. And what so does it have to do with um, JFK? I don't know. JFK pushed the Democrats to Democrat the, the, right Democrat, in 1960. pushed them to the right. And Hillary and Clinton, Clinton did it in 2016. Huh. I don't know. Um, okay, when we moved in, I was told that using prison labor at the governor's mansion was a long-standing tradition, which kept down cost. Clinton writes, she adds that most of the workers were convicted murderers, and she became friendly with, in quotes, a few of them, African-American men in their 30s who had already served 12 to 18 years of their sentences. Ooh. Despite their alleged friendships with these men, Clinton tells her readers, we enforced rules strictly and sent back to prison any inmate who broke a rule. Despite having no psychological qualifications, she later asserts that these men did not have inferior IQs or an ability to apply moral reasoning, but instead they may have been emotional illiterates. Emotional illiterates. I don't know. That's what she's saying. But I like how it says, despite having no psychological qualifications, yeah. she later asserts. <laughs> despite having no ability to say this, she said, yeah. It's kind of weird, though, that... Slave labor. Yeah, that is exactly what that is. I mean, let's... No, no, but it's just tr tradition. It's like, yeah, but that doesn't mean you should do it. Let's be honest. Like, how much are they getting paid? Zero. What, fucking one pack of cigarettes a week? Yeah, what do they get? They do not pay inmates at all. Oh. oh, Jesus Christ. Clinton makes no mention of whether or not these men received any money for working for her and her husband. A 2016 article from Mother Jones notes that when it came to prison when it comes to prison labor, some state states include Texas, Arkansas, and Georgia do not pay inmates at all. Holy fuck. On Twitter, Jing wrote that Hillary Clinton was a direct participant in what Sam Su Sway, Sam Sway, yeah. uh, it's at Sam Sway on Twitter, I guess, uh, correctly described as modern slavery. A hundred percent. Yeah. Dude, that's a hundred percent slavery. If you don't pay someone, you make them work because they did a crime. That's a crazy thing. Like, we don't let them vote. But you're making them work. That's uh -huh. what's crazy about it. It's like it's not just that. You, you, your, your freedom's taken away, and they lock you in a box. But they also make you work. Saying your lives aren't worth anything. We can make you do whatever we want. <sighs> yeah, and that dude from uh, Phoenix makes you work in pink. Oh yeah, that that Joe uh, Arpaio Arapo. guy. Yeah, yeah, he's a uh, he's a interesting case. He makes you put pink on to embarrass you. Yeah, do you, do you get embarrassed when you're wearing pink? I wear pink sometimes. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, I'm not a big pink wearer. I will occasionally wear a pink. I'll admit, I'm not a big pink wearer. Yeah. But at the same time, I don't care about it. I'm not scared of a color. I'm a rational person for I remember in part. high school, like 13, 14, wearing pink ties and stuff. Like, yeah. Shul, being a little embarrassed, but also being like, this looks good. And then learning the word salmon makes it way more easier. You know, Jean LaBelle always wore a pink judo gi. Really? Yep. Why? It's clean and sober, it says on all of them. Clean and sober with pink shirts. Probably because they uh, were drug offenders, right? Yeah. He's, he gets upset. He wants everybody clean. I mean, clean it's better than him making and like sober. Oh, this is an ing.